Hello everyone, in today's video we will talk about uh, Azure Virtual WAN and see how it can simplify our Azure network architecture. So this is our uh, Azure global network wherein many locations are connected via Azure global backbone and that's a very high speed network connectivity. So this is how we normally see Azure network architecture wherein our on-premise network is connected to a VNet in Azure which we can say are hub VNet. And to that, we have different other VNets uh, connected through VNet peering. So that could be regional VNet peering or global VNet peering. But what happens after some time when we connect many VNets and we have many V locations, so we end up with something like this, wherein we have many locations which are connected through express route to VNets and those hub VNets are connected to many branch VNets and then those hub VNets are connected to each other. So the network kind of becomes uh, messy here. So what if we have a solution like we have a hub wherein we connect our different locations, different branch offices or different VNets, different point to site connections and automatically everyone starts talking with each other because if we see a hub we connect many devices to a hub and they start talking with each other and if we have another hub and we connect those two dumb hubs then all the devices can talk with each other so so virtual van is a, a kind of a hub and spoke architecture wherein on azure virtual van we create hub in different regions and automatically they are connected to each other and to those hubs, we connect our offices using express route, site to site VPN, our VNets or point to site connections as well. And they automatically start talking with each other. So on a global scale, it provides us a huge boost in the bandwidth. Like there is 20 GBPS of site to site VPN connections we can have, 20 GBPS of express route and 20 GBPS of user VPN in a single hub. If we see the virtual WAN architecture, in this we will have a virtual WAN in Azure, which is global. In that we create a hub and hubs, we can create as many hubs in different locations. So let's say we have a hub in Australia and we have a hub in Canada and we connect our Australian office to Australian hub and Canadian office to Canadian hub then automatically they will start talking with each other. And if we have any VNets there in Azure, we connect those to those hubs and we have a communication between all of them. Also, we can connect our remote users using point to site VPN. So this is how it looks with the many hubs. So let here we see we have a hub in region one, region two, region three. We have VNets connected to different hubs. We have different offices connected to those hubs using express route or site to site VPN. We have point to site users connected and they can all talk to each other. Another benefit of virtual WAN is that it provides firewall as well in those hubs. So we can block communication. Let's say we want to block communication between these two VNets so we can easily do that on that hub as well. There are out of box uh, integration with OEM devices, for example, Barracuda Cloud Gen Firewall. So you purchase this firewall device, you set it up in your branch office and it will automatically connect to your VPN gateway. So it's a uh, very easy to set up. So you just buy a device, you put it in your branch office and it uh, connects to your virtual van and it's on your Azure network. So it can talk with any other device connected to that virtual WAN. Another benefit of it is that it can replace MPLS. For example, you have two sites connected to your virtual hubs in a virtual WAN, so they can talk with each other over Azure Backbone. It also integrates with our SD WAN solution, our enterprise SD WAN solution. You can see in this diagram we have enterprise SD WAN to which our SD-WAN branches are connected and we can have a device in our Azure and through which we can collect to our enterprise SD-WAN. Now we will see a demo of it. So in my Azure, I have these two resource group, Australia resource group and US resource group, in which I have uh, two VMs 
and there is no vnet peering between the vnets inside these uh, resource groups and the vms for are in australia and uh, us region so this is also a resource group called van which i have created in which i will create virtual van so once i create the virtual van i will create two hubs one in australia and one in us to which my vnets in which my vms are will be connected And I will create it. So virtual van has been created and now we will create two hubs in it. So first I will add a hub in my Australia region. I have specified a hub private IP address and next it will ask me if you want to connect uh, site to site uh, VPN to it. So I will skip it. No point to site, no express route, no tags. I'm simply going to create it now. Now we will create a hub in our US region. I will go to virtual van, go to hubs click on new hub it will take some time for them to be created around 30 minutes so I will come back once it is done now both the hubs uh, have been created one in Australia and one in US and if we go to the virtual van overview we can see that uh, these two hubs are showing up here and it also shows us here that what all is connected. So currently I don't have any VPN site, firewall, point to site or express route or VNet created. So everything is blank here. Now let us go ahead and uh, connect our VNets. To add VNet, we will go to virtual network connections and click on add connections here. We'll give a name here. Select our hub. So I will first connect it to Australian hub. Australia resource group. I will select my Australian VNet and click on create. So now it has started the creation. I already created one in US hub. So my US hub is connected to my US VNet and now the Australian one is in progress. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once uh, both are done. Both the VNets uh, have been connected to the hub. So US VNet is connected to US hub and Australian VNet to Australian hub. And by default, both the hubs are connected to each other over Azure backbone. So now I have my virtual machine open, which is in Australia. And if I check the IP of this, it is 10.2.1.4. And I do not have a VNet peering enabled with my vm in us but i can do a rdp to it so if i try to do rdp to that vm on its private ip address it should work so i can do rdp to the vm in us region over azure backbone without even creating vnet peering so I just created two hubs in virtual van which are automatically connected to each other and connected to VNets to it and I am able to talk. So if I have my on-premise network, my branch offices, they can connect to the virtual van in the closest uh, to the closest hub in their location and automatically I will have a connectivity between all of them. So here we saw the benefit of using a virtual van and I hope you liked my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.